violence and other kind of violence. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Breaking news we're following this morning. A customer at a Brooklyn deli is now in the hospital after getting shot during a late night robbery. CBS 2's Christina Fan reports from Clinton Hill, Brooklyn. Mm. Good morning, Andrea. There is a police officer standing watch inside the deli this morning where a 48-year-old customer was shot in the hip last night trying to stop a robbery. Man. Police say this all unfolded around 1130, right as the business was about to close. So I see New York has not gotten a hold of their crime issue, even though Eric Adams promised. A change it looks like there has not been much of a difference um, from when he started off uh, just this time last year so you know what what can we take from this what can we take from this I think he made some mistakes he negotiated with terrorists meaning he met up with the drill rappers and tried to find a resolution to the crime and you know, I think that backfired and it's showing in the behavior of these super gremlins on demon time. According to investigators, two men entered the deli on Myrtle Avenue, and while one man held up a gun, the other stole money from the cash register. Detectives say that is when the victim, a customer, decided to step in and intervene. According to investigators, he got into an argument with the suspects, who then shot him. First responders were able to rush that victim to Methodist Hospital, where he is expected to be okay and is now in stable condition. Police say they have made no arrests. There is no suspect description at this time, and they say this investigation remains active and ongoing. Reporting from Clinton Hill, Brooklyn, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Those who have lost children to gun violence on families throughout this. The gun, viol the gun violence is taking a toll on families th she go. throughout the city. Today, those who have lost children to gun violence gathered for a youth and school safety summit in Harlem. CBS 2's Leah Mishkin has more on the message parents are sending to legislators. We need a change. Eve Hendricks' son, Brendan, was 17 years old when he was killed by a stray bullet. His mm. mother said he was at a barbecue in the Bronx. I am tired of the same government that are there at our kids' funeral. I'm tired of them not doing anything. So there she goes and blames the government, not blaming the mentality of the community, not holding the super gremlins accountable. Um, where are the men to take the mic? <laughs> I mean, where are they at? Where are they at? I, I think a lot of the men have just the competent men. The Malcolms, as I would like to say, the mildly attractive, lucrative, communicative, operational, likable men have, you know, washed their hands with the community. We're parting ways because the mentality is always to displace blame. Nobody wants to speak about the single motherhood rate. Hold a lot of these women accountable for not taking care of their children and being negligent. Like I say, sisters. Come get your kids. Okay. Choosing Pookie, Ray Ray, Thuggo, and them. The list goes on and on. On Saturday at a family resource fair, she pleaded for stricter gun laws and for more resources. We do need more school safety officers in our school. We do need more police officers. That's right. On the streets, in front of the school. So you heard what she said. More police. Total 180 from... A year and a half ago saying defund the police, which let's keep it a buck. Black women were leading the frontier for that. I shouldn't be scared to get an education. Excellent. I should be able to come home. Students, mothers, fathers and grandparents also called for more funding to support community organizations like the ones inside this building this weekend, giving parents information about free after school weekend and summer programs to employment opportunities. We also need mental health professional yes, yes. services. 
services. A 13 year old killed my son. Two of Jack. A 13 year old deleted her son. That's wild. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what she got going on with her head, but she just needs to lose it. Just need to, you know, go bald. It is what it is. Jackie wrote Adams' four children have been killed by gun violence. She says she's been fighting this fight for a long time and has no plans of stopping. She says she wants lawmakers to get illegal guns out of the city and ensure the NYPD has the funding it needs. She also supports changing current bail reforms. We can't afford for our kids to keep killing each other and our adults killing each other, going in jail, coming back out. As so now the community is saying the same thing that I've been saying for years. You know, it just seems like empty echoes from my opinion. Because y'all already put in the people. Y'all put the people in position of power who were pushing bail reform, pushing criminal justice reform, pushing police reform. We got 10 years of this. So hold on tight. Sisters, you voted this in. You pushed this type of lax um, attitude on criminality. You, you guys pushed all of this, man. In, in the community, you know, everybody has a hand in this. But we're going to have to reap the, reap the accountability of our decisions and our voting habits um, <clears throat> until... We really start to change, but I really don't think anything's gonna change, to be honest. She says enough is enough. Stop tying our male hands. That's stop right, tying, right. stop tying NYPD hands. So you heard what she stopped tying the men's hands, stop tying NYPD's hands. Woo, she talking about some stop and frisk, ain't she? Because too many parents are already suffering, a pain that will never go away. It's one of the hardest things to go home. And see an empty bed. Yeah. In Harlem, Leah Mishkin, CBS 2 News. And yesterday, the NYPD announced it is adding more youth coordination officers citywide, and there will also be precinct administrative personnel patrolling dismissals at certain schools. Yo, what's good, BGZM News 17 family? I'm at the corner of Jesse Jackson and Marcus Garvey, and I got some bad news for you. As you can see, I lost my job. I'm out here living in cardboard boxes outside of boarded up vacant homes. YouTube said I'm done getting money out here in these streets. They even took my funky ass suit. So anything right now would help. So go ahead and hit that cash app, hit that PayPal, hit that GoFundMe. Hell, cop the merch. Or if you want to make the long term commitment to the Jinquadius Jackson Fund. Join the Patreon so that I can continue to put out top-notch content each and every day. Also, <laughs> check out the Rumble where there is absolutely no censorship. Link in the description box below. Hey, yo, 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 ain't that that, that nigga Jinquadius? Yo, I recognize no, that's not me no anywhere. more. Hey, yo, run your property. Y'all tell me what they say. Do the opposite of Antonio Brown and take what all your What more do you want from me? Report as a 19-year-old who'd go... And another mourning family in our area is looking for answers tonight as a fort as a 19 year old who'd gone missing was found dead just minutes from his home in Brooklyn. Mm. CBS 2's Christy Kalishian spoke with his family. We love him. We love him. We love him. And I'm so sorry that this happened to him. The family of 19 year old DeAndre Matthews coping with unexpected grief over his tragic death. Mm. I just want justice for my son. My son got off of work Monday and then that was it. DeAndre Matthews, also known as Dre, went missing Monday. Matthews left his job at 5 p.m. at detail shop Buggy Service Center in Crown Heights near his home. So the brother was working, doing everything right. And it looks like they caught him lacking. The super gremlins are on demon time. Tuesday, his mother's Jeep Cherokee was found a few minutes away on Troy Avenue, burned. His body Damn. was then found near Nostrand Avenue on train tracks. 
police say also burned. Mm. His mom was able to find this out by tracking the car down. He was her only son. Bruh. I don't even see. Was he involved into something crazy? I mean, what happened? That is just wild. Burn the car, burn the body, like back to back. Sheesh. This is disgusting. Like, my brother didn't do anything to nobody, and I could really say that. He mm. wasn't in a gang. He wasn't a violent kid. He wasn't a bad kid. You know what I'm saying? He stayed in the house. The 19-year-old. Wow. So it was just straight up. They picked him out, and they just preyed on him, deleted him for, for no reason, man. That's horrible. Old was known for his sense of humor. He loved driving, spending time with his family, and playing video games. We don't know nothing. We don't know anything. And my sister, she don't deserve this at all. Mm. At all. He's just so nice to people. He's just oh, always too nice. And sometimes people can take that for granted. I always told him to be strong, though. Matthews was a student at SUNY Broome Community College. He was studying criminal justice. And his wow. family says he wanted to become a social worker. So another case of the... Or the worst of us taking out the best of us. He was going to be somebody who was going to try and change, you know, the situation in the community, help the community out. Look what they do to him. Kidnap him, burn his vehicle, and then burn his body alive. These super gremlins are on demon time community college he was studying criminal justice and his family says he wanted to become a social worker and flatbush christy kalishian cbs 2 news